On Saturday, November 5th, uh, a male walked into a Midtown pizzeria. He ordered one slice of pepperoni pizza, sat down in the back of the pizzeria, and remained there until closed. At this time, the owner approached him and asked him to leave. The gentleman produced a silver handgun, took the owner at gunpoint around the counter, and removed a large sum of money from the cash register. On the way out of the location, the manager noticed that he had a tattoo on his neck. Had the word sugar written in it. Our old systems only gave us the capability to, to do certain queries, very limited search capabilities. It was in multiple forms, paper, separate databases, separate processes. The question was, how do we gather that information and get it to our officers on patrol? The answer to that is the real-time crime center. The RTCC provides information and investigative support to detectives who are investigating violent crime, and the information is delivered right to them at the crime scene. The detectives reached out to us with the nickname of Sugar. And we were able to bring back a man with a violent robbery history. We pulled up his photo and his physical attributes, and he matched the description to a T. Myself and a team of detectives from the Midtown Nord Squad went to a housing project. A group of us walked through the front door, up a flight of stairs, until we came to apartment 2B. We knocked on the door, and inside was our perpetrator. If it wasn't for the technology that's available here, we wouldn't have been able to solve this case. The police foundation has contributed significant amounts of money for components of the real-time crime center. Our hope is that every police officer has in his or her hands the kind of information that they need. We can marry all of these aspects, technology, software, services, um, to help the city of New York fight crime. What can help us in, in the short term and the long term, the obvious answer is technology, and we're going to do everything we can to make certain that New York remains in the lead in that regard.